hate mowing and lawn is a big waste of water. We had lawn that was weedy, no matter how much it was watered, it was compact soil, it didn't look good. We had such a really bad back lawn and we were trying to figure out what to do with it. It was essentially just a mowed, weedy, vacant lot. What can we do to not have to maintain um, uh, cutting the grass and watering? So we don't irrigate the Xeriscape Garden at all anymore. And it just made total sense to us to do that. Xeriscape is just a made-up word which really means less water than traditional landscaping. And when I first designed this garden, I fully intended to irrigate it. So we don't irrigate the Xeriscape Garden at all anymore. We do water newly planted plants for the first summer by hand, but other than that, we don't do any irrigation in the Xeriscape Garden. Uh, with the Yscape, it's the City of Moscow's registered trademark term um, as far as our water efficient landscaping on the Palouse. The City of Pullman is also involved in the regional approach and also doing Yscapes. Um, the Xeriscape term came from the Denver Water Department. It's the same principal idea, however, with the Yscape, we can um, determine all the efforts people are making on a small or a bigger scale and recognize those people that are making changes with their landscape in the community. We had such a really bad back lawn and we were trying to figure out what to do with it because we stopped watering it, it was just a waste of water. The water rolled down the hill. And we went to the county fair and we saw the Yscape display, but I said, that's it, that's what we gotta do. I've been tracking, I've been comparing the lawn in the front and the Yscape. In the Yscape, we cleaned it out, which takes a day, basically. Haven't done basically anything else, including watering or anything. And so far this spring, I've mowed the, the lawn in the front six times, fertilized it once, watered part of it once, and watered the edges once or twice, and did all the trimming by hand. So the difference in maintenance is gigantic. When we look at the operation of Eastside Marketplace, uh, one of the biggest expenses we've got is labor. And uh, when it comes to labor, in order to maintain all this area, if it were grass or flower beds, it would take a lot of time. I would definitely want to give credit to the Bennett family for, uh, they, they were the, the ownership of the mall here for many, many years. And what you see here was really kind of created out of their vision. At one point in time, if the rocks weren't, weren't there, then you're going to have some type of grass cover. And um, most likely you'd have grass or flowers or, or flower beds. Um, and again, it's going to take a lot of maintenance and uh, labor, manpower hours in order to take care of that. You would have, you'd be hard pressed to get us to, to change that other than maybe putting in some, a few flowers here and there. There's wild geranium behind you that actually want to grow here. There's corabels, there's lamb's ears. Uh, some of the things like the peonies were already here. You, you know, you walk down the sidewalk and it's hot there and you walk here where there's shade and there's this cool, Yscape right here, and you lose 10 degrees of heat right off the bat. I probably started cobbling it together 20 years ago. Did a little bit, did a little bit more, did a little bit more, moved things around, you know, so it's, it's, it's been like this for quite a while. And you know, the beginning it doesn't look so great and then it really starts to fill out. Some of the native plants that I got last year from the, from the water department are in here. Yeah, I wanted to create an ecological island for the natives and the, and the wildlife and insects that pass through this, the city limits. So one of the things I've, I would recommend if you're trying to put in natives would be to figure out which plants are invasive and pull those out. If it's a native weed, it'll eventually get pushed out by the non-invasive natives. With the natives or any other plant, properly chosen plant, what you do is you put it in and then the first year you usually have to water it. You have to water heavily twice a week. You water heavily so the roots chase the water down, the water table down into the soil. And then the invasives that just grow on the surface and have shallow roots go away eventually. Today we are planting the Yscape at City Hall. Uh, we have several volunteers here helping with the planting. In fact, all the efforts today are um, volunteer efforts. Now, I also want to mention that as of February this year, we started a rebate program for Lawn to Yscape program. You have to be a Moscow Water customer. You're taking out irrigated lawn and putting it in with water-efficient landscaping, and you get a $150 rebate from the city of Moscow. 
all conservations matter. So it's not one over the other, all of them matter. We also have a toilet rebate program, take advantage of that. We have free um, device giveaways, take advantage of that. Why escape your yard? Every, every drop counts and every person can make a difference.